Well, coming up on Sunday, it's going to be a, a very special event, the Ottawa Lions Pet Value Walk for gu dog guides, or guide dogs. Whatever we have in front of us here is what's going to happen. And you know what? We have some very special people here with us today to talk about this. Lion, you're a lion. I'm a lion. How do you feel about that, Andy uh, Etherington? Very, very proud to be a lion. <laughs> Co-chair of the Ottawa Lions Pet Value Walk for, is it dog guides or guide dogs? It's uh, dog guides okay. because we have six different types of dogs that we supply to Canadians. All right, makes sense. Uh, and way on the end, we have uh, Marianne Given de Brise, uh, who is the mother of Tommy, who is here. Uh, so, first of all, welcome, Marianne. Hi. Nice to see you. Tommy, hi. Hi. Uh, my name is. <coughs> my name is. My <coughs> Good to have you here. <coughs> Would you oh, like. My name is Tommy de Brise. Okay. We'll need you to just speak into the microphone if you're going to, uh, okay. And yeah. can you tell us who you have uh, in front of you, your friend? <clears throat> well, this is my third autism assistance dog guide, Adele. Adele, I gave, your mom gave me, mom gave, gave, mom gave, my mom gave her to me, gave her to me on, 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 on January 26th, 2011. That's great, and a beautiful dog as well. Yeah. Um, Andy, please tell us about uh, what, what you do at, uh, at the Lions Club. Well, Lions Clubs are a, a service club within, uh, within Canada and the world. Uh, we have over, close to 1.4 million lions around the world. Here in the Ottawa area we have, uh, and district, we have uh, several clubs, and we have joined together uh, to put on the, uh, the walk for dog guides. Uh, this coming Sunday. Okay, and over the years you've raised uh, quite a, a, a good amount of money. Well, this is our seventh uh, event and we're hoping that we will uh, pass the $100,000 mark this year. That's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible because these dogs cost approximately $25,000 to breed and train before someone like Tommy receives them and that's where some of that money goes to. So the funds, events like this, pretty necessary. Pretty necessary, right across the country. All right. Mom, Marianne, um, tell us a bit about Tommy. I understand he's a bit of an athlete. Yeah, so Tommy is a runner. Uh, at the moment, he's an elite runner mm -hmm. and has represented Canada at the World Championships in July. Um, but he's always been a runner of sorts. And from a very early age, Tommy was very driven to move. and. When agitated, he would bolt and run, and it, it presented many, many safety challenges. Mm -hmm. And so I say, I always say, he's always been a runner. He used to run away. Now he runs in races, but he still has moments of challenges in personal safety, even mm -hmm. at 25 mm -hmm. years of age. So Tommy's had a guide dog or dog guide mm -hmm. since the age of seven. Uh, he's this is his third dog, and um, he's probably one of the older people with with a dog guide uh, for autism because okay. Tommy's, you know had one his, nearly his whole life okay. so the dog has presented a lot of um, help for safety mm -hmm. and a number of things okay and tell us obviously how important it is for Tommy to have Adele in his life so um, we can't imagine Tommy's life without Adele really because the dog is such an integral part of what keeps Tommy safe what keeps him calm what keeps him happy um, what helps others to recognize uh, that Tommy has autism and you know it's 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 pivotal to Tommy's personal safety and also to him being accommodated and welcomed and embraced as an autistic person in society that the dog alerts people. Uh, as you can see, Tommy's inv disability is invisible, really. Mm -hmm. If he starts to talk, you can understand. But the thing is that having Adele by his side means that people take a step back, take a moment, mm -hmm. um, give him more uh, sort of um, uh, some room? Spa yeah, give yeah. Him, literally, physically give him space and also give him uh, the benefit of the doubt. And as a society, I think we all need to recognize that sometimes when you see something going on in public, like a meltdown or something, you don't really know. We, we all have to take a step back and realize that there's a lot more going on sometimes than of what course. you see on the surface. Tommy, is Adele your best friend? Yes, she is my best friend. But there weren't any, there weren't any autism as his dog guides in, in, uh, uh, in uh uh in uh uh in uh uh in uh uh in Glencairn Nursery School, 1994, 1995, 1996. Crystal Bay School, 2000. Crystal Bay School, 2000, 
Featherton Featherston Drive Public School 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, and Audited College and High School, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, uh, 2010, 2011, and 2012. Okay, great. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, so what Tommy is saying is that his dogs did not go to school with him. Okay. A lot of autism dog guides do attend school, but Tommy was in an autism unit, and there were some struggles uh, there were some other students whose fear of dogs you know we're very respectful of okay. but it's not always easy but anyway that's Tommy's telling you the history of his schooling well, and he probably you. wishes they went we only have about 45 <laughs> seconds left okay. so Andy please tell us the details uh, when can people show up on this on this event today we start registration at noon on Sunday September the 24th at Stanley Park in New Edinburgh uh, and we'll start the walk at 1 o'clock Following the walk, we'll have uh, some awards, and we'll also have a barbecue put on by uh, my own Lions Club, the Cumberland Lions Club. We'll uh, be serving uh, sausages and uh, salad and okay. soft drinks. So it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Corella uh, Deville might show up. Corella oh. Deville might show up. <laughs> Tommy's team is called Adele's 101 Donations because okay. Tommy always says Adele is not really a black lab. She's a, a Dal Dalmatian covered yeah. in soot hiding from Cruella Deville. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Tommy, Marianne, uh, and uh, Andy, thank you very much for being on our show. Our pleasure. And best of luck this weekend. Adele, thank you very much as well. <laughs> We've got more daytime coming up on Rogers TV.